morning everyone welcome back to the world race vlog today is mini debrief for b squad before they head to peru and it is the last video of our costa rica series so i hope you love it um so the way debrief works is you go to a hostel that is in a fun area and there's teachings and worship and team bonding and just lots of fun and also one-on-ones with leadership so you can talk about how you're doing on the world race and everything and what you're learning but this is a very expensive area and there really isn't anywhere for us to meet and have our teachings so we are actually going back to Ocean's Edge to have the teachings and hangout time and then we'll come back to the hostel obviously for fun and for sleeping and all that so i'm gonna walk to ocean's edge right now good morning it's march 8th and we are eating breakfast i do believe this is mini debrief yes and we shall have a teaching in quite a little while i believe it'll be in about four or five freckles and then we shall have a splendicioso day 11 to 2 will be our break and two to a certain time of the day shall be more teachings, and I do declare we shall see the sunset. The theme of Mini Debrief is um, one heart, one body, one spirit, and so each teaching is going to be based off of those three things. So the first one is about the heart, and it's based off a book I read called Hardest of the Mansion, and just gives you an overview about what does it look like to have spiritual formation and walk with the Lord in like depths and different degrees and what that can look like. So. Good morning, Sammy. Did you sleep well? Did you miss me? How are you? I love you so much. <gasps> are you the best dog ever? Yeah? Yeah? Then it's time for coffee. <clears throat> coffee party. Fill her up, girl. How was your month in Costa Rica? How do you feel about all being done? It was really good. This month was different because we had we lived in two different cities, um, so we got to experience like ten different ministries. So it was super dope. The first place that we went in Costa Rica was the um, the AIM base, and like we had so much love from the people at the AIM base, and like we had so much guidance. We've had a lot of teachings. We had inner healings, which was something new to me. Costa Rica has been probably one of the best places I've ever been in my life, especially here at Ocean's Edge, and then working in San Jose with the base. It's just an incredible country where people are just so open uh, and really just willing to talk and to, to let us get to know and, and to understand their culture. I have definitely enjoyed doing the ministry here, so I am sad to leave and we make all these connections and then we have to say, see you later. So I'm a little sad, but also excited to keep going. The race, I really didn't expect it to be like this in depth, but it's been really really cool to just dive into a deeper relationship and really understand God and understand myself more the more I dive into a relationship with him and it's been extremely freeing along the way too. I just feel like I'm learning to be flexible because every month has just been so different in where we've been and what we've done and God just shows up everywhere and it's so cool to see how he can be God in so many different places. I'm feeling good. I'm ready to go to Peru since we found out that we're going there. I'm like super stoked about it and just ready to see what that has for us. I'm just ready to keep on going with my squad, with my team. I'm just bonding with everybody and just growing in my relationships. So I'm, I'm just excited to keep on going. We're pretty much wrapped for the afternoon. They're going to have one-on-ones later with their leaders just to do little check-ins. I'm not going to film that obviously because it's personal. Um, but now a bunch of people are gonna go to lunch and then later we're gonna get back together and we'll have more teachings and worship. 